Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about EOS. Just in case you're new to the channel, just to remind everybody that you can earn EOS, Stellar Lumen, Dai Token in Coinbase. And if you haven't installed the Brave Browser, you can click the link below. So Brave Browser can help you to serve internet faster and block out all the advertising. So let's talk about EOS. So this article uh, talk about everyone's worst fear about EOS are proving true. And if you still remember, um, EOS raised about $4.1 billion in the ICO. And Block1 is the company behind that, of course, with Dan Nero, the founder and everything. And now people have um, some doubt about this uh, project. And of course, right now, people are talking about uh, the, the blockchain is too centralized. Uh, the governance, there's a lot of block producer in China. They may have uh, more control of the blockchain. And also the debts is a little bit disappointing because uh, most of the debts are gambling um, debts instead of enterprise level debts, stuff like that. <clears throat> and one of the block producers, uh, Yost Tribe, basically uh, he part uh, they participate in the launch of the first Yost um, blockchain. They've launched in... Uh, I think I believe in August 2018, right? They launched it. And basically, uh, he just stepped away from EOS as a block producer candidate. So he uh, basically, EOS tried basically focused on other blockchain and other projects or implementation. So the reason why uh, he uh, that person do that, because they're, they're saying that we are at EOS tribe have, nev have never participated in a game of false trading and stay true to our principle. And hence, while we leave EOS as a block producer, we are also free to speak with, uh, the truth and give warnings to the West, to the rest. So basically, they want to speak, speak the truth and give warning to the rest of the people. And basically, it's no longer possible to uh, earn money for maintaining the blockchain and without the support from the major whales. So basically, those whales are folding one another to keep the top 21 uh, block producer or top 10 block producer. And a lot of block producer also come from China. And when you look at the year's block producer right now, you can see it's a OK exchange. <clears throat> this is from um, Hong Kong. It's China right now. So Yeos Wahubi Hubi uh, is also from China. Yeos So is from Korea, of course. And big one is from China. Uh, Eos Laomo is from Tokyo. It's interesting. Maybe this is from China too. Meet one Singapore is not true because the team is from China. And Infinity Stones is Polo Alto. Uh, Big Finance is in Hong Kong. Eos Asia, of course, I guess in China. <laughs> I'm not sure. And uh, WhaleX.com, uh, Singapore. I'm not sure about that one. New Dex, they have a decentralized exchange for the Eos platform. And EOS can can uh, Canon is also from um, China. EOS Fly to the Mars from China. Hello EOS from China. So you know the top um, a lot of rock producer from China, <clears throat> and maybe maybe basically. And don't forget all this uh, rock producer. They are not the one who launched the project. You know who launched the project is EOS New York, right? EOS Canada, EOS Amsterdam, EOS uh, Brazil, EOS. Uh, um, I can't remember those big block producers. Oh, Cyphergrass, like Cyphergrass, right? Now, not even in top ten. Cyphergrass used to be in top ten, right? So now it's not even show up in top top ten. And um, most, I mean, a lot of block producer that you know put a lot of time and effort to launch the blockchain. Those are no longer in the pool because they are not the whale. So they don't have enough votes to maintain the top five or top ten. It's up to the whales how they play the game, basically, uh, unfortunately, uh, a lot of times. So, <clears throat> and of course, uh, they talk about, um, they talk about there's an east and west divided. They talk, uh, they basically talk about uh, maybe in China, they speak different languages. They fail to build a consensus about the protocol. I mean, it's not about the languages. It's about the values and beliefs. Uh, in China, it's basically it's a total authoritarian, authoritarian dictatorship regime. You have no freedom of speech. Uh, if you say something bad about the government, you will disappear the next day. You got house arrest. They can do whatever they want. The reason why is because... Um, <clears throat> They have a social 
credit uh, credit system too. Um, you probably heard of this. So everybody uh, got a thousand points to begin with, and if you donating blood or money, you get points. And then if you praise the government, you say something good about the government, you get points. If you say something about bad about the government or criticize about the the, the government, you're in trouble. You're gonna deduct points from you. And <clears throat> the reward you can see is fast tracking work promotion, priority status for the school, uh, children's school admission, easier access to bank loan and consumer credit, test break. And if you the punishment is, is pretty severe because you cannot buy any ticket, train ticket or flight ticket, you can't do anything, or even subway ticket, whatever. Ineligible for certain jobs, restrict access to public services, that's scary. How about you want to go to uh, a public hospital, or if you want to go to uh, some type of public services, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> and then there's also public shaming on TV and also uh, social media. Uh, that is pretty, <laughs> this is even worse, shaming. <laughs> I mean, this is like, I mean, are we in the 20th century? Uh, seriously? And of course, you have a record, you know, you have your photograph, your employment record, your school report, everything is in the government system. I mean, I think it's in each of the county or whatever. You have a record like this. So everything is based on a reward system. If you if you do something good to the to the government, you know, the Communist Party, you say something good about the Communist Party, you get reward, okay? If you say something bad, you're in trouble. You, you, so you can't even buy a plane ticket. So, <coughs> so the values in China is different anyway. It's not just the language, it's values and beliefs is different. So here, I mean, I mean in the U I mean in the US, if you donate blood, uh, donate blood to, to to people, it's free, right? Not to people. Donate blood to the uh Red Cross or whatever, those those are free. You don't get reward. You do it, you do it because for the good of the uh hum human. As a mankind, but over there, if you donate something, you get some type of reward. So the the fare is different. So you have to do something over the, uh, maybe in China, they, you have to do something. It's, it's like a, it's like a exchange. It's like some type of exchange. You have to do you do something, you get something. Uh, you got monetary reward. You got certain thing uh, in return. I think I don't know. Maybe I'm just too harsh, but this is how the way how they there's a surveillance. Uh, you know, total control over the citizens. That's scary. So that's why they have a total control of the citizens because uh, you cannot even buy any ticket or whatever. That is scary. And then they have a record of you. So that is uh, public shaming. This is even worse. <clears throat> so of course they have different values. So that's why. <clears throat> how can they How can they come to a consensus? You know, one is a dictatorship. Um, yeah, dictatorship, no freedom of speech. And then you talk about the West. They have like freedom of speech, you know, and all that. It's different. Of course, you know, uh, even though in the Western democracy, I mean, they can have uh, they can have fake democracy too, right? But the thing is, at least you can say something bad about the government without getting in, into trouble. So, um, so delegated board of state, they talk about. Um, so this is also controversial as well because, like, uh, to vote the producer, if you have more votes, for example, if you have. Uh, a thousand years, your vote is weight more than you have a hundred years. So, so that's why it's up to the whale how they play the game. I'm telling you. So, if you watch my previous video about years, long, long time ago, uh, I talk about um, years. It's a very centralized model. You only have twenty-one block producer, and those block producer can vote one another to be in the top five or top uh, ten, and then also the top five or top ten earn most of the reward while um, the the uh, I think after the the standby prop producer basically earn nothing zero and <clears throat> because the standby producer is like if one of the prop producer uh, go offline the standby is uh, you, you know uh, will, will go up right away right just to uh, producing more blocks and the standby has nothing and I think the top 10 uh, block producer earn the most of the years. So I talk about that this is like inequality. It's like the big the big guy earn everything. The small little block producer earn almost a very minimal amount of years to keep their network, or whatever. And they use the same similar amount of resources to maintain the network, seriously. But anyway, so this is um so this is a winner take all, basically. If you are the big guy, you take it all. 
basically. I have been talking, I have been addressing this on day one when they launched this project, but a lot of people disagree with me, a lot of people argue with me and see what happened. Now you people are talking about this now, people starting to think about this. But on day one, you should have known that. You should have known that all this uh, with the folding like this, it will be controlled by uh, the big uh, handful field, you know, the whale. <clears throat> And of course, uh, I don't know if you still remember Great Mars. Uh, Great Mars, they produce a Great Mars wallet. They have contributed uh, quite a bit to the community and now they're not even in freaking top 10, right? So where is Great Mars now? <laughs> Cybergrass is not... Cybergrass did a lot too. It's not even in top 10, you know? So EOS New York is 32, really. EOS New York did a lot too. EOS Canada did a lot as well. And EOS Authority did a lot when they launched EOS Sweden as well. Um, Yours Argentina, Cyphergrass, those are the main, um, I think those are the big players uh, when the EOS is about to launch. They put a lot of effort to launch the network. And yet, right now, they're not even in top 10. And those people who are on top 10 is, what is this? Did they contribute to the blockchain, to the EOS uh, community? Not really. EOS Wahoobi? Not really. And big one, I'm not sure. Uh, meet one, I think they contribute uh, 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 quite a bit too. There we meet one wallet, and Big Finance. What is Big Finance? That uh, the Yield blockchain. I don't know. I haven't seen anything yet. Maybe they talk about they are going to do the uh, decentralized exchange, or whatever. I I didn't see anything yet. <clears throat> Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> and and even uh, remember the eDNA you can monetize your DNA on the blockchain and now even um, the eDNA project they also uh, want to hedge against the risk they want uh, you remember th there's two main fox right Telos and Wabi so he also hedged his risk by going to Telos and uh, Telos and uh, Wabi as well and <clears throat> And another thing is, I previously the frozen seven accounts without any consensus before doing that. I mean, this is kind of dangerous because basically they can shut down your account anytime they want, right? Basically, just like Facebook, they can shut down to your to your to your account. You know, if they are under pressure from the uh, Chinese government or whatnot, you know, you never know, and uh, they can shut down your account. So the 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 principle. Uh, the fundamentals of blockchain technology is to decentralize the power back to the people from the uh, from the institution control, right? So you are your own bank. If your wallet got hacked, sorry, there's nothing you can do because you are your own bank, right? You have to take responsibility because of the decentralized nature of the blockchain from centralized control, right? So you have to take responsibility to your token to be, to, to be put in a safe wallet, right? So I disagree that uh, the block producer can frozen an account, seriously. I, I don't like that idea. But a lot of people at that time, yeah, that's a good idea, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. But I disagree all, with all this, seriously. <clears throat> now people start talking about it. I talked about that almost a year ago, and a lot of people disagree with me. Uh, well, and the debt is also a disappointment. I talked about, uh, talk about this earlier on. I mean, <clears throat> the debt, the gambling, most of them are gambling uh, debts. They don't have much enterprise level depths. And um, Ethereum, basically Ethereum, um, uh, some enterprise are interested on build on Ethereum. For example, accounting firm like Ernst & Young, Deloitte, they, they are interested to build on Ethereum, not EOS. I could be wrong too. Maybe someday they will pick EOS, but I didn't hear any news yet so far. Um, another thing I want to point out that uh, the performance also. EOS Aloha, Aloha EOS, basically uh, track a benchmark test for the block producer. And they score the, the most, uh, the best uh, benchmark, for example, did they miss any blocks? Did they, um, is their server uh, up 100% uh, of the time or 99.9% .9 of the time, no downtime, blah, blah, blah. Addict Lab has consistently scored the highest and yet they're not in top 10. And... Also, Big Finance and Wahoobi have scored the lowest score and yet they are in top two, right? Top five, actually. So this is controlled by the freaking whales. So what can you say? This is a very centralized uh, blockchain. So <clears throat> I don't mean to criticize too much, but the thing is I talk about all this on day one and yet a lot of people argue with me. Now somebody talk about it again. So 
Let me know what you think about the EOS project. Do you think this is too centralized? Uh, you only have 21 block producer, and a lot of block producer they, they didn't contribute to the project on day one, like all this uh, Wahoobi, like EOS Wahoobi, what did they do? I'm not sure. And um, OK, Expo, what is this? So let me know what you think about this. I want to, uh, I want to know because uh, if you still remember, if you follow EOS project, there used to be the top five is EOS Canada, EOS Afrodi, EOS New York, EOS uh, Argentina, Cyphergrass used to be the top. They are the one who initially uh, launched the project. Right now, all this is just a way of playing the games, folding with one another to keep themselves in the in the top five or top ten. And I also point out in my all my previous video, uh, talk about you know the much um the most the top five or top ten earn most of the EOS. And the little guy earned little or none at the end. You know, the uh, the standby producer earned nothing. So let me know what you think about this uh, EOS um, project and what do you think about the consensus model? There's only what 21 block producer. Do you think this is a fair uh, ecosystem or, or EOS can do much better? Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. Um, if, yeah, let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. I mean, EOS is a... It's a cool project because they build so many depths in such a short period of time. But we need some quality depths, not quantity. So we need something like enterprise level, not just the gambling thing. But well, they, I know the, they're building voice. But the thing is, like, I, I'm not sure. I'm still skeptical about the project, uh, about vo uh, the voice project. But you never know. They want to replace uh, Facebook, basically. But yes and no, I'm not sure. <clears throat> So let me know what you think about the EOS project. I would love to hear from you. And the next talk, we're going to talk about CME. So CME Group is going to launch the Bitcoin options early in 2020. So basically, the derivatives, they're going to do all, do all these derivative things, do a put option, call options, all this just to manipulate the price of Bitcoin because they're, going to set, they're not going to settle in Bitcoin. Uh, they're going to settle in fiat. And of course, if you do the pool, uh, put and call, call option, then probably you have to buy at the end. If you lose, you have to buy back uh, the Bitcoin. But I'm not sure how whether they really, really have to buy back Bitcoin or they have just pay fiat. I'm not sure the, the mechanism. But this is not a good idea. Anytime institution come in to do all these different instruments, like options, like futures, uh, back or whatever, like back come in as well, it's not good to the community as a whole. So... Let me know what you think about this as well. Uh, this is just another instrument for them or tools for them to control the price of Bitcoin. Let me know what you think about this. I would love to hear from you. Uh, if you find this video helpful, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop or token swap. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. And please comment below. That will help my ranking in YouTube. And I would love to hear what, the, what you think about EOS. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's a bad uh, protocol, but we just because they build on C C plus plus. I like C plus plus. So, so it's a I think it's a good project overall. But then, it's a little bit disappointing. They raise so much money, and they should have done more instead of whatever right now. But anyway, um, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. And remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise. Stay safe. Peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency and commodities can have inherent business or due diligence.